Hello, my name is Michael Geisler and as president of Manhattanville College, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you, new students, parents and friends, to this wonderful institution. Founded in 1841 by the Sisters of the Society of the Sacred Heart, Manhattanville still today sets itself apart from other colleges by the strong values embodied by the founder of the order, Madeleine Sophie Barat, who resolved to create a new order dedicated to educating young women in ways that would make them intellectual equals in what was then still a completely male-dominated society. Dialogue, community, finding the facts by doing your own research, listening and making your own voice heard, and empathy for others. That is what a liberal arts education is all about. That is why CEOs of major companies look for people with a liberal arts background among their candidates for leadership positions. And that is what you will get at Manhattanville. Our faculty has an outstanding record of caring for each individual student, ready and indeed eager to use their expertise to assist you on your special projects and interests. As you wander around our castle or pull up an Adirondack chair on our spacious and beautiful sunny, sunny quad, where there always seems to be a breeze blowing in from the Long Island Sound, I invite you to become dreamers and I encourage you to become designers. I want you to take your cue from the dreamers who designed this place, from Ben Holiday who sold his Overland Stagecoach and Pony Express Empire to Wells Fargo in order to buy a thousand acres here in purchase and build a gentleman's farm called Ophir. From Whitelaw Reed, the newspaper tycoon, ambassador to Spain and France and vice presidential nominee who bought this land later and built our castle, which almost as, impo as imposing as Hogwarts School for Wizardry and Witchcraft has served as a movie set for any number of film and television productions. But above all, I want you to take your cue from the religious of the Sacred Heart, those feisty nuns who, when they were kicked out of the Upper East Side of Manhattan, a location that to this day is still called Manhattanville, took New York City to court and were awarded enough money to buy this property and who proudly took with them the name of their beloved location, Manhattanville. Like Ben Holiday and Whitelaw Reed, I encourage you to design your own fairy tale according to your dreams and to make it a reality. And from our founders, the feisty sisters of the Sacred Heart, I want you to take their strong ethics and deep commitment to social justice and civic engagement. The kind of civic engagement that prompted Sister Mary Clark, a professor of philosophy, to personally tell a very large number of Manhattanville students to get on the bus and join Martin Luther King's historic March on Washington in 1963. And to make all that dreaming become a concrete reality, we have opened our Center for Design Thinking last fall. Since I first announced our plans to create such a center four years ago, design thinking has moved into the mainstream of the way America does business. Major firms like MasterCard, IBM, Uber, Walmart, Nike, Nordstrom, Georgia Pacific and PepsiCo have all used design thinking processes or established entire design thinking units as part of their corporate problem solving culture. This means that Manhattanville is now in a position to provide employers with a kind of highly trained human uh, workforce that will be needed in the future if our students wish to compete with the aggressive wave of automated work processes that can increasingly be delegated to machine learning or artificial intelligence. In other words, Manhattanville will be uniquely equipped to provide its students with the very human skills that simply cannot be automated. Systems thinking, contextual thinking, clear and persuasive communication, the ability to work with people from different cultural, racial, social and gender backgrounds, and most important of all, a practical training in empathy. In the newly renovated Center for Design Thinking, small groups of creative and entrepreneurial students work side by side with faculty and staff on finding tomorrow's pragmatic solutions for real world problems. 
Our training in design thinking gives Manhattanville graduates a critical advantage in an increasingly competitive job market. I encourage all of you to take advantage of this unique opportunity. And starting this fall, our brand new School of Nursing and Health Sciences will use the holistic thinking and the special human-to-human -human skills produced only by liberal arts educations as the foundation for a pragmatic professional training in holistic nursing and other health sciences that will provide the tri-state area with badly needed qualified health professionals. A successful college is not a passive experience. You cannot download it. It doesn't come as an app for your iPhone. If you want to find friends, people you like and who like you, please realize that empathy, laughing and crying together depends on the kind of nuanced interaction that cannot be expressed through emoticons. Talk to your faculty. You will find that they are eager to talk to you. That's why they've come to teach at a liberal arts college. Make an appointment with me during my open office hours. You need not have a problem to do so. I'm also interested in simply hearing how you're doing at Manhattanville and how your day has been. Welcome to Manhattanville College and go Valiance.